Hey everyone, welcome back to the Genuine Chat series. I'm your host, Jen, and this is my lovely co-host, Sam. Genuine Chats is a weekly real talk series right here on the Reignited podcast where we chat about all things straight from the heart. So today's chat is about organization. Yes. And getting our big stuff together. (laughs) Very big. So who out there that's tuning in right now struggles with organization in general <laughs> yes I'm, I'm yeah this 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 one right here <laughs> um but everyone does even I do and for me I'm very type a personality I'm very organized if not I have a hard time focusing I have a hard time doing my day-to-days so and sometimes I procrastinate if there's too much clutter <laughs> so for me organization is huge um and I know even for for you, Sam, like it's hard. Like if you're not if you're not organized, your whole world feels like oh yeah, it it freaks me out. It's just upside down, right? Um, and I think that most women deal with that, you mm-hmm. know, especially if you have kids. If you're a mom, for me, I have four kids. My kids are older. My youngest is five. My oldest is sixteen. But even with my kids that can do chores and can help clean. My house gets a little chaotic sometimes, but it's so important to make sure that things are organized. It's not always going to stay that way, as you know. You know, you have baby Jay who's little and who's a toddler and has toys everywhere. So it's not realistic to expect your house to look pristine 100% of the time. But what we're talking about more so is just organization, where you have maybe some systems that work. Um... Like, for example, like for me with my kids when they were younger, it was having like a bin system like, okay, they know where their toys go. They can clean up their own toys, put them in the bins, have them labeled like I'm one of those. Like I like to label everything, but it helps because all of my kids have most of my kids, all my boys have um, ADD or ADHD. So it helps them if things are labeled, if it's organized it keeps them on track and it helps them stay organized. So I actually just got a labeler. Um, Jonathan's toy room, which is also going to be my gym now is, well, it's a disaster right now because it looks like Thomas, the train threw up everywhere. (laughs) But I mean, I have the cubby system for him. He has a place for his books. He has, you know, his train table where he keeps all of his trains. Like, you know, With him, we're working on organizational stuff with him as well, like putting his toys away because at daycare, you have to put your toys away. Like you have to clean up after yourself. So we're working really hard with that. I wish that I could um, train Wrigley to put her toys away because I find stuffed animals and balls (laughs) everywhere um, and she doesn't clean up after herself. So So if you're not familiar, Wrigley is one of Sam's dogs. Sam has how many dogs? I have four. She has four. I have three. So that's that's another thing. If you have pets, if you have pets, they're worse than the kids sometimes oh, because they're so bad. They're terrible. Like my French bulldog, she is crazy. Raya, she is the only one that really plays with toys. So we have like we have a bin that we have her toys in. Um, my other two dogs, they're not really into toys, but she is, and she she gets in her crazy moods where she gets the zoomies and then she'll grab a toy and she'll run around. But they'll be all over the house. Like, out, they'll be everywhere. I know. Jesse and Tessie still, they're older. They were my mom's poodles. They still like toys here and there. And then I inherited my aunt's Great Dane last year. And she likes to specifically take whatever toy Wrigley <laughs> likes at the moment. And then you have Jonathan, who doesn't want to be bothered sometimes, that literally takes her toys and throws them behind the couch and tells <laughs> her to go away. So it. You know, it's hard, especially with them, because, you know, Jesse, um, he has diabetes, so he has to get insulin every day. So you're organizing and planning that out. I mean, medications like you and I have to take medications, you know, kind of getting everything ready for the podcast. And, you know, for me at school and then us with work and the kids and, you know, the kids are active, you know, we're going to be signing Jonathan up for some stuff. So yeah, I mean, I'm working on getting my house organized, organized because, yeah. you know, I still have um, a lot of my mom's stuff and a lot of stuff that I've held on to. For those of you that don't know, um, 
I lost my mom when I was pregnant with Jonathan. Um, I was 18 weeks pregnant. So I currently am living in my mom's house. So there's a lot of memories and, you know, I have to get organized in, in that sense yeah, to make myself overall feel better because, you know, we have a smaller house and we have a lot of people and a lot of animals in our house. So, right. So that, that organization piece is mm -hmm. key. And for those of you that may be feeling kind of overwhelmed right now and feel like you can use some type of organization, but you don't know where to start. My advice, and this is actually advice I told TM too, especially after the loss of her mom, like that wasn't the last thing that was on her mind was like organization and, and getting things like that squared away um, because she was going through the process of grieving. So, but what my advice always is, is to start small and to start in your home. That's the best, that's the best way to start. It is. And to take, you know, Jason and I have sat down and said, we're going to take one room at a time. And to be honest with you, um, I can actually, I'll link some of my favorite things that I've bought for organizational, either from Target or from Amazon that have really helped me with yeah. getting on track, even when it comes to, you know, an organizational planner or like a finance planner, you know, I have all of those. Jen's big into planning. She's the reason why I got into planning as well, which really helps. And it makes you feel like you have your life together. So yeah, yeah. I'll definitely link a couple things. You link a couple of your favorite yeah. things as well. And actually, I think um, one great, actually, we have a couple of really great resources on the website. So if you go to livereignited.com, or if you look in the show notes, or in the description, if you're watching on YouTube, um, I'll link the website it has a ton of great content, but specifically I'll link, we have a work planner and a home planner that yeah. I've created. It's a PDF. It's a free downloadable. Um, it's, it's free yeah. and you can print that out. You can use it as many times as you mm -hmm. need, but definitely utilize that resource. It's great. It's great. Check it out. It It's, it's helped, you know, it's, you know, then then you have to organize a place for all of your organizational <laughs> stuff and all of your planning stuff. But it's true. But you, the best it's thing totally worth it. The best thing to do and what I've done in the past, um, anytime I've used like free downloadable resources, which I love because if you don't know where to start, like with planners or I, I'm, I'm a planner girl, I physically have to have a planner like the digital stuff doesn't like really work for me, like trying to do a digital calendar on my phone or something that doesn't work for me. Like I have to physically see it in front of my face constantly. That's just what works for me. I'm another one with like whiteboards and calendars all over have, my house. I have a lot of those too. And well, you know, on the side of my fridge, I have our like family, our, our family calendar that's, you know, like yeah. dry erase. And then I actually started, um, putting Jonathan stuff over there as well. So like, you know, him staying in his bed, stuff for potty training, um, yes, chores and things chores like that. And, you know, like a behavior thing too, which I need to start utilizing a little bit more. Like, you know, I, I have all of those as well. And actually I, those were free printables and I laminated everything. So yeah, that's a great, that's, mm -hmm. that's actually something great that you can do as well. And, or what you can do is just get a binder. They're cheap. You can buy them from anywhere, really even Amazon. Um, but if you just get like a three ring binder and you get the, um, if you get the sheet protectors, yep, you don't even have to like hole punch it or anything. You can just print it out, put it in there and put it in the binder and call it a day. And the cool thing with those as well is, um, even if you do that router laminating, like you can write on it with dry erase. So that's what I do for Jonathan. And yes. it's easy for me to kind of wipe it down. Um, but I do, I, you know, maybe you and I can come together. Like, I mean, I think like a chore thing as well is really important, especially yeah. even if you have, you know, little kids or the older kids. I mean, Jonathan is just over three now, but he's at that point now where he wants to help. Like the other day mm -hmm. I was cleaning and I was Windexing and here he is like, mommy, I want to help. So I'm like, oh, this is opening up a door. Yeah. You and, know, and feeding the dogs and right. helping in that sense. So yeah, no, and it, it helps them get a sense of responsibility. Mm -hmm. And even young at that young age, I did that with my kids as well. We always have a chore chart. I actually, 
I went a little above and beyond. My husband loves this, but I saw, I think it was on Pinterest one time. This was a couple years ago and we still use it to this day. I created my own chore chart with like the magnetic strips where you can cut them. And I used like construction paper, glued it onto the magnets with different chores for my kids. And then um, I actually created like rows for each of my kids and we have a to do and a done and then I have all the chores on the left hand side for them to do and then when they're done they literally just move the magnet over and my husband loves it because he uses it all the time he makes them use it every day and he always (laughs) says did you do your daily routine and I should definitely can, do something like that for Jonathan. It took a lot of time. Like, don't don't get me wrong. Yeah. Like, it's not something for everyone. And it took me time. But it's so worth it. Like, it was just, I mean, and it didn't cost very much because it, I just used a whiteboard, some washi tape, like the magnetic strip. So it cost me less to create it than it did to, like, buy one of those expensive ones, which there's nothing wrong with that. If you have the funds and you would rather just buy one, go for it. It's fun to make it. your own stuff, too, you know. But just it is. Like, I got to me, personalize yeah. it. Yeah. And with me finding, like, the printables and stuff, and I'm able to personalize all of that for Jonathan. Yeah. And even for potty training, you know, like... I have a potty training box that's in my bathroom. Everybody who comes over sees this potty training box, but it has all of his treats and stuff. And then on top of it, I have bigger prizes. We are really struggling in that category, but it works for him. And then I actually have the reward chart that has the stars and then has little pee and little poo. It's amazing. (laughs) He loves it. So he gets all excited when he gets to use that. So, I mean, all of those are good. Yeah. are, Are good tips and tricks. But yeah, no, those are great resources, but definitely utilize the free printables. Uh, Again, I will link those specific ones, the work planners. We have other ones as well, Mm -hmm. Um, but they'll go hand in hand with a lot of the content that we're we're talking about and especially in the podcast. So we'll make sure every episode, especially for the genuine chats, we'll link one of the downloadable pieces of content that I that I've created that you can use. Um, and it'll be based on what we're discussing. So like today it's the organization, the planning. Yeah. So we'll we'll make sure we link all of those things. And um but Sam and I will also link some of the things we've used from Amazon, um, organizational things, maybe some labels or label makers, whatever we use that yeah we'll start we'll, we'll start our own little storefront so you guys can yeah see that as well that would that, that would be a lot of fun and we'll actually see what we can maybe put on the merch store too that we haven't got to utilize yet yeah because we have so much stuff for the mm-hmm. merch store so check we'll def- it out yeah definitely check it out that will be linked in the description box as well coffee mugs these ones are a little special you can't get these specific ones from the merch but from the merch store but we do have ones with the reignited podcast logo we have ones um that have the live reignited logo um we have a bunch of different sayings some fun ones that we've said in previous podcast episodes like if you've watched our mom life episode which is fun we have some more mom life episodes coming up so definitely stay tuned Um, we have a special guest as well for that one so that one's going to be super fun but let us know what you're doing right now to keep yourself organized what you use to plan to use a specific planner that can be a whole episode in itself for me because i've been using planners for years i've gone through so many different types of planners you would be amazed but anyway we'd love to hear your yeah. feedback and, and know what you what you're struggling with right now or what you use. Um, if you have any tips and tricks for us, make sure you put them in the comments below. Uh, but we are so excited to keep this series going. I love this. I love chatting with my bestie. And of course, we got to end with a cheers. All right. Cheers. My lipstick for the future. <laughs> Always your lipstick. But we hope you all have a beautiful rest of your week and we'll chat with you next time. Bye. Bye.